here I'd like to uh, introduce our gallery first. Um, our gallery just had our uh, third birthday in October. And uh, it's founded uh, in 2010 by Mr. Zhu Gao Wen. And now we have two galleries in Beijing and Berlin both. Since uh, this uh, Zhong Gallery established, we represented important and accomplished artists like Qiu Zhijie, a very well-known uh, contemporary artist, and uh, Gao Shiqiang, and uh, Yang Fudong, Wang Qingsong. They are international known artists now. Um, almost all the uh, important Chinese artists uh, avant-garde um, are brought to Germany through the effort of Zhong Gallery during these three years. Nowadays, um, Zhong Gallery has exhibition space in Beijing and Berlin. Now, in Beijing Gallery, now we are presenting seven young artists, um, Chen Yufan, He Junyi, and uh, Li Qing, Wang Junyi, Wang Yabin, Wu Di, and Zhao Yiqian. They are very uh, active and interested artists in Chinese art scene at the moment. In Maycrete Project, we are carrying on the tradition of uh, Zhong Gallery by uh, focusing on high profile artists. But uh, Maycrete Birds is going one step further, engaging in the music culture exchange. Maycrete Birds is focusing on the broader and deeper way of understanding Chinese contemporary art. Now we do have fun these equipped studios in Berlin to help Chinese artists have a widen their eyes in Berlin because it is difficult to imagine how international artists work in China. We do have only limited um, information, but um, our project is supporting young and established artists who have no chance to go abroad. That's what we like to present is like uh, these young artists, they are well known in Chinese market. But the, uh, their topic, their education, the way they are talking in art are so different in international artists. Now, for example, this one is uh, Wu Wei. He won so many prizes in China. Uh, he works with paper and it's very delicate uh, material in his uh, own career. And uh, he trying to bring out this Chinese tradition and uh, modern creations together. Um, but it's in the way uh, different um, languages, he got the problem with communicating with uh, international galleries. This is the reason for us as a Chinese uh, gallery to help them to build up a little bit uh, window or bridge for them to uh, get out a little bit to look and to learn how to get uh, activity skill uh, to join international art activities. Uh, artists we are doing now is a uh, Chinese photographer, uh, Wang Guofeng. He is now uh, these few days working in Prague. Uh, he's very, very uh, special for me because he's taking a lot of pictures from North Korea. Li Xiang, uh, for a lot of you who <laughs> speak Chinese, is ideology. It's about um, all the big and huge important architectures built up in uh, the uh, 50s in China. And we caught 10 important uh, buildings in Beijing, actually, most of them. It's a Chinese um, uh, train station, this one. And another one is um, worker stadiums. And there's also another one is about the um, library in Beijing and the China National Gallery. All these buildings are influenced by Chinese tradition, one, and also very much influenced by Stalin styles also from the uh, Soviet Union. This theory is about ideology. Also, another one is about utopia. He's taking pictures in in Russia, China, North Korea. This is one of the seven sisters in Moscow. It's very, very special for us. Also going to take more like from East Europe. We work together in Warsaw, in Prague. He's looking for all these characters, not only building, but what's left from that time. This is not the image what we see. This is, he's taking thousands of pictures about the architect, and he is using this, um, what's the word again? Post? Post-production. 
production. Yes, post production is like he's making thousands of pictures together, like re-image the building. He just want to left the power and the image out. But this is just illusion of the architect, it's not the real thing. So it's mixed up by thousands of them. When you look at the central station picture, you also get wondered if you were living in Beijing or you, you went, you, you can't imagine when there will be nobody. <laughs> you can't imagine day or night and any time, any day during the year because there's millions of people passing by each day. And he is like taking thousands or more than thousands of pictures and he just select when there's space with no people. North Korean is also um, impressed me a lot. This is also important. It's a ceremony from, uh, for Jin Zheng En, the first day to get this <laughs> important position. But for him, he's invited by North Korea government. But his, uh, all these shootings are being, um, how to say, settled by the government. But it's really like a, a performance for shooting. But he knows that, but uh, that's what he wants to show also. You can feel it strongly, what's behind, because this is not a normal. It seems not normal also. So I want to introduce you a performance artist we're going to invite for next time. And his name is Li Bingyuan. He was performed here. Um, there was a, a Chinese exhibition called Eight Ways. He's destroyed 800 homes during the performance in the hour. He came from a very um, small village, a countryside of Wuhan. And for him to live and study in Beijing as an artist is very, very hard. And sometimes it's desperate. Actually, he penned very good pictures to sell, but he's really refused to produce his art by selling it. I like to talk about this artist and um, about this residency program. Can I ask a question? Yes, please. You're talking about um, a new form of exchange program, but basically you talked about uh, Ch Chinese artists coming to Europe. What about Berlin artists, German artists going to China? That's what oh. we do. We do the same also. We, we are introduced um, Berlin artists to China, and we are organizing a residency for uh, Germany. Actually, it's not a Berlin artist. It's artists who are based on Berlin. And the work in Berlin, they are international. And we are introduced them to Chinese residency, the same. And this year, we did a Berlin artist an exhibition in Beijing, and it's very successful. 